I'm Mark Krogel. I'm a lecturer in the Department of Horticulture and Crop Science at The Ohio State University. So this facility represents what commercial growers use. It's in scale and the componentry and the control of it is all what they, you would find in a commercial operation. A little more than one half of this facility represents a commercial style greenhouse. It's a seven meter to the gutter Venlo style greenhouse. In that we can produce what we call high wire crops. That's how tomato is grown. Uh, we also have sections in that production area for low row crops. Strawberry is a really good example. Uh, we also have what we call pond systems where a lot of lettuce that you might eat in the grocery store is produced in what we call floating raft production where we have plants literally on a floating raft sitting in a pond growing to its yield, yield size. Traditional research side, we have new greenhouses that have all the environmental control that we have in the production side. So people doing classic bench research you know, for floriculture crops, looking at specific disease or pests, insect pests, and other types of more traditional university research can be accomplished, but in, in a high-tech, state-of-the-art greenhouse. So in this facility, we have projects, research projects, that are uh, a lot of the work is done by undergraduate students, graduate students. We even have some postdocs managing some projects in here. And that gives them hands-on experience in a crop that looks just like what they would see in a commercial facility. So that gives them direct uh, experience with how the crop grows how the facility is used to grow that crop, and even how to manage that facility so that it's working like we want. Unlike uh, just a generic greenhouse structure that you might see in a typical university setting, we have specific facilities that represent, again, what the commercial industry is using. So the students have a very direct experience of, of how things work in the industry.